Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. Denim jackets, a true classic piece of garment that has been around for ages. We're talking 1880 when Levi Strauss created the first piece of denim that was meant to withstand the harsh environments of manual labor. And from there, the rest is history because today, denim is a staple. And there's no denying that Levi's is the king of denim till this day. So today, we are going to talk about how to wear the denim jacket. Now, as a disclaimer, I really don't like to tell you how to dress. The title is just so I can get you guys to watch my stuff because I need validation. No, but seriously, these are just my experiences what I would do to style this denim jacket take what you like apply it to yourself or don't but make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm gods to bless me before you leave so you know how I said that Levi's is the king of denim? Well, it's true, but the thing about denim jackets or any piece of denim is that the brands do not matter at all. You're gonna wanna treat these like flannels and bombers. The brand name, unnecessary. So that means you can get them from anywhere. Obviously, Levi's has had a long history and buying a piece for the brand association is, is cool for the most part. But if you're living that broke boy life, not to worry. Forever 21, if you still have one, H&M, Zara, Uniqlo, and a ton of other online brands are great places to pick up your first denim jacket. Or you could go the good old thrift route, or even pick one up from your uncle or your dad, and save a ton of money that way while still getting that boxy vintage look. Check this denim jacket here. Random brand, I've never heard of it. This was my girl's grandpa's denim jacket. Still has a great wash, still fits really well. This is something you guys can do with your family members. So don't worry about the brands. If you like it, go ahead and pick it up. So speaking of washes and styles of denim jackets, Jackets. The classic, in my opinion, is the light wash fitted denim jacket. If you're gonna pick one of these up, I definitely suggest starting out with this one, as it's the most versatile and it truly gives off those spring and summer vibes that are coming up. I got mine from a place called Fashion Nova. I know, go ahead and smack me right now. I know, I know, I said it earlier, brand name doesn't matter, but I don't really like their brand. But it was cheap as hell when I bought it. I'm pretty sure it was $20 they were having a sale or something like that. So I couldn't pass it up. And surprisingly, it has amazing quality as a lot of YouTubers would say. Okay, it's not amazing, but it actually has decent quality, you know? has a good weight to it, the stitching is pretty good. It's definitely gonna last for a bit of time. But back to the washes, there's an endless amount of them. You have the raw, dark wash denim type look, your old vintage ones like this one right here, white ones, black ones, tan ones, and gray ones like this one that I got from Express. Oh, and also this is just my personal opinion, you guys may not agree, but I would consider workers jackets to be sort of like denim jackets. You know, they're pretty much designed the same way, they might not have the same weights or stitching or washes, but if you compare a workers jacket to a regular denim jacket in the same color, Color, they look pretty much exactly the same. So if you guys go to Uniqlo or another store that carries workers jacket, just treat them like a denim jacket. But I think you guys get the point, the washes and colors of denim jackets are endless. Just pick up a piece that you can style tastefully and is more suited for you and your views on fashion. Then you also have different and sometimes weird designs. So the good old distressed denim jacket, which you could also do a DIY on if you're into that. Embroidered ones, which I am not a fan of at all. See what I mean? Personal taste. Sherpa ones, which is definitely a go for me. And also ones that come with the hoodie, but that's totally up to you. I've seen some with like, paint splattered all over it to show that it has been worked in. When in reality, most people that wear this type of denim jacket have probably never painted their room or painted anything in elementary school. They probably skipped that. And then I've seen some acid wash ones, which is definitely a no-go for me. And also there's some wax denim that you guys might be into, which gives it a leather type of look, but you guys have a ton of options. For myself, I like to stick to plain denim jackets, no distressing, no embroidery, because I can do that later down the road if I so choose. Now, how should it fit on you? Well, that's just as subjective as how a shirt should fit on you. What you're always gonna hear online is that it should be more slim fit. And I get that because it really does shape your body really well. It's a pretty good look. However, everyone's got one like that, including me. Most of my denim jackets are more fitted and slim fit. But if you wanna switch it up, and in some cases, have a more tasteful look, then pick up a boxy vintage one. Vintage has been in and a vintage wash and fit of a denim jacket, I think is a move for 2020 going forward. Because think of it like this, yes, it's vintage, I guess, but denim jackets have been around for 140 years. It's never gonna go out of style whether it's a vintage wash or vintage fit, or a regular modern slim fit light wash denim jacket. It's more than likely gonna be cheaper or even free if you get it from a family member, so why not pick one up like this? And if you can, try and pick one up with elastic stretch materials in it. It just helps with moving around, maybe you drop your shades behind the car seat so you gotta stretch and grab it, 
I know I've done that a lot. And sometimes when I'm wearing a regular fitted, non-stretched denim jacket, there's no way I can do it. So it definitely helps with being comfortable. And typically the prices are still the same. So now that you know how it should fit, where to cop, and the designs that you can pick up, let's go ahead and throw it on your body. You got your denim jacket now, what should you wear underneath it? Well, honestly, just treat it like any other jacket that you have in your wardrobe, but also a classic white t-shirt underneath a light wash denim jacket definitely just gives off this spring and summer vibe. It's a classic look that just never gets old. And also I've seen striped tees look really good under these. And I've also seen people throw on a flannel underneath the jacket, which is not my taste at all, but I've seen people pull it off really well. I just don't think I would do it, but that's totally up to you. I always like to wear a hoodie underneath like what I'm doing right now, because that's just what you should do with almost all jackets for the fall and winter time. Definitely gives off this chill, relaxed vibe. And it kind of looks like you know what you're doing when in reality, who really does? Pants are just pants, wear them with whatever you like. 2017 and 2018 was the year of the track pants with the denim jacket, still looks pretty decent. I've also seen people pull it off with cargo pants or just regular chinos and of course, black denim. And just like pants, kicks are all your taste. Jays have been worn with them for the longest. Runners with cuff pants also looks really good. And if you're gonna stick to the more casual menswear lane, roll with Chelsea boots. And honestly, the Yeezy Power Phase is probably my most worn sneaker with a denim jacket. Just gives off this really cool retro vibe. It's always looked good with it, especially when I rock it with this vintage denim jacket because the retro look with the sneakers with this vintage wash just melds really well together. Now that's just a brief rundown because now I'm going to actually tell you how I would style it with some fits. You'll see all from casual menswear to streetwear. Take your pick. I like both because I'm from the streets. I'm gangster like OG Loke. I'm gangster. Let's just, let's just talk about the looks. All right, so let's talk about the first fit, starting with the denim jacket. This jacket is from Express, and just to be transparent, I am working with them. You'll see in the next video. All thanks to you guys, by the way. I've been shopping at Express since I was 14, or at least I wanted to because I never had any money growing up. But nonetheless, thank you guys for that. For this look, I went for the monochromatic color block look. If you guys haven't already, make sure you check out my color blocking video. But basically, we are working with shades of the same color, and that is no color. So this is the easiest thing you can do, and that is to work with the grayscale spectrum. The denim jacket has stretch materials to it, so it makes it more comfortable and not so restrictive. I really like it because it's a nice getaway from the standard blue denim. Underneath that, we got a gold chain and a wonder shirt from the Wonder Museum back in the shy. If you've been watching my channel for for a while now, you'll know that I like shopping at places like this. Because Wonder, at least, is basically an art museum, so of course they would put some extra effort into their merch design, instead of just throwing on a word in the middle of the shirt and calling it a day. But yeah, I kept it black to keep to the grayscale look, and the jacket technically contrasts against the shirt, since the shirt is pure black and the jacket is a lighter shade. We got a few rings that I got from Amazon, there's a link below if you're interested. Then we got black denim from Tailored Athlete, my boy's company. It's stretchy and that is amazing. We got a biker belt chain to add to this type of punk aesthetic, then white sneakers from New Republic public to contrast against the whole entire fit while sticking to that grayscale look. Now, if you want to quote unquote streetwearize this fit, take the belt chain off, tie a bandana around the belt loop, take off the chain and throw on a sling bag and a wine colored beanie with the Union Jordan 1s. And I'd say this gives off some Day One song or that kid from Infamous vibes. It's a pretty cool look. I like both, one for rocking to Soho and the other for casual meetups with some friends. The next fit is my everyday go-to skater look. Now the skater aesthetic is pretty simple. I've been skating since I was 10, but obviously I still suck because I quit for the past six years. So basically I'm a poser, but nonetheless, I still kind of got it. But basically you want to avoid heavy bulk. I personally try not to wear accessories cause that shit hurts when you land on it. So I'm rocking this hooded denim jacket also gifted from Express. It's stretchy and great for moving around when it's cold but still gotta hit the streets. What I like about hooded denim jackets is that you can wear a regular shirt underneath and still get the same look as throwing on a hoodie under a regular denim jacket without the bulk. Plus I have more shirts and once you get a few tricks in you start to get hot and sweaty so it's easy to just take off the jacket and just be in a regular long sleeve. But yeah, shirt is from the Shy again. I got this shirt from a random boutique at Navy Pier. I just really like the design. Again, if you just like the design of a shirt, pick it up. It doesn't need to be from a name brand store. Then we got some stretchy 511 tactical loose fitting cargo pants, cuffed of course with white crew socks and the Vans old schools. This is going to be your typical skater fit where you still look good and you stay comfortable. Next fit, we got the traditional casual menswear starter pack. Like I said in another video, starter packs are fine so long as you develop it and add your own personal touches to it. So, light wash fitted denim jacket, looks great. You guys know which brand I got this from. <clears throat> Not a big fan. Instead of a white v-neck, I threw on a breathable white t-shirt from the North Face. For, of course, the warmer days of spring. You could always roll with some airism from Uniqlo if you'd like as well. But it's the North Face, you know, brand association. It's not like your Supreme BOGO or anything. And it's an oversized shirt instead of a fitted one, just because I think everything fitted can be a bit too much since I've already gone through that phase. A pair of Chelsea boots. So yes, it does still look like your typical casual menswear fit, but with accessories that I like to make it more for me. And that's how you guys should tackle your fits. So I've got on rings, a pair of glasses, 
maybe a beanie and a tactical belt to not make the fit look like everyone else's. And yes, I have big feet, I'm 5'7 and I wear size 11, stop making fun of my feet. Please. Then the last fit is more of that vintage look. So we got my boxy vintage denim jacket with a hoodie thrown underneath it. Always a great look and also with the same 5'11 tactical cargos, cuffed, striped stance socks, and the Yeezy power phases. Like I said before, the shoe and the jacket go hand in hand. I think I could have improved on this fit by throwing in a black fisherman's beanie, but I don't have one. All my beanies are all kind of, you know, drapey. Alternatively, if you feel like this fit is plain and you don't like the relaxed fit cargos, you could also roll with the other look that I did that you guys have seen before, where I had more technical accessories like a sling bag and a tactical belt. But I wanted to just mess with the relaxed fit cargos more. I don't know. What do you guys think? Jesus Christ. All right, fellas, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys haven't already, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Follow my Instagram at FlyWithJohnnyTy and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and comment down below your favorite watch of a denim jacket. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. I'm out, bro. Peace.